The horror in safe originates in the mind and extends to the body. Set in 1987 with emerging conspiracies of the end of the world, new age spirituality and self-help cultures, Carol, a frustrated San Fernando Valley homemaker, finds herself trapped. She has problems breathing, speaking in a soft and muted voice on the brink of fainting. No one, not even modern medicine, has an answer. Todd Haynes, the director of the film, lets us know that toxic air is ubiquitous, and the physical effects become very real indeed. Still, Safe isn't an easy film to pigeonhole, as it can be read as a materialist satire in the context of Californian suburbia, and, most intriguing of all, as a horror film by the way of its mise-en-scene. The ominous opening scene, for instance, a look through the windshield of a car while swelling synthesizers are blasting, creates a genuine sense of unease. The sound design will play a vital part in the most unlikely scenes. Mundane activities like getting a perm, interior designs, baby showers, turn into bizarre distortions of the expected. What affects us most deeply are these small shifts of everyday occurrences, which make them seem almost unreal at times. Moreover, there is a queer subtext in SAFE. Todd Haynes is one of the key figures of the new queer cinema movement of 1990s wave of independent productions. Carol escapes to a sect-like community in the New Mexico desert. By the way, society treats her as an outsider, a marginalized minority. The parallels between Carol's ailment and the AIDS pandemic are also evident. Like, I think it's slowly opening up now, people's minds, like, um, educating and, and AIDS and, um, and other types of diseases because, because, and it is a disease because it's out there and we just have to be more aware of it. Haynes is concerned with psychology to a point where he simply lets the viewer decide as to whether Carol is merely imagining her illness or not. And is there such a thing as immunity? That is the truly terrifying experience of the film, knowing there is no safety. <laughs> 